they tended to kind of play them straight, you know? If you had a mentor, he was a mentor, he was going to be good, he was going to come into the story and whisk you off into an adventure. However, recent fantasies, like some of the examples you've given me, they kind of tend to play with them a bit more. This world, you know, and we are the characters. We are Harry while he's whooping with elation while riding Buffy. You know, we are a Atreyu when he's weeping over the loss of his horse heart. Matthew Chang will step forward. And finally, Caitlin Padmore, please step forward. <laughs> Supported. And finally, What about water? Yeah. Smoke. Yeah, are you guaranteed to, to have a lake or a, a river nearby? You and know, even if you are, um, then you know the water's good. If it was like Montana's, you, um, you, you could get like one of those water filters. <laughs> that would be good because if it's like, if it's really good, then it probably won't work. But if you're not sure if it's clean you enough can, to drink. Um, you can generally purify water by boiling it. Yeah, so oh, we need yeah. a flint. We need a flint for, um, to start exactly. the fire. Exactly, you're going to need a fire. No, you don't. I'm a pyrokinetic, remember? Oh, that's yeah. true. The Field of Doom was an isolated area filled with deadly obstacles. My partner had to guide me around while I was blindfolded. During the actual activity, I felt very nervous and I incorporated this into my story. If we wanted to save the epic citadel, we needed to be supportive and cooperative of each other. The armory activity really helped my riding, as the weight of the shield and the ways to use it were beneficial to my riding, especially in battle scenes. Trying on the armor also helped me to gauge the weight and ability of someone who was armored. The war axe was really cool to hold, making me feel like the character itself, myself. It was really interesting seeing everybody else in my group clad in armor, which made my description easier. The group work was really immersive especially since I had not known anyone else in the group before the first day of the activity. Overall, it was a great experience and working with the group was really fun. Um, we did on our first day with the lily pads. We used um, paper lily pads and we had to get across the quicksand without thinking. It was really interesting to try and work as a team and really helped me think about what my character and my team in the story would be doing at this moment. Um, the workshop has been an amazing experience. It's um, really helped me in my writing work. The stone table activity really helped me with my writing. There were five riddles and five bowls of food. We had to match the answer to the riddles to the food. Once we had done that, there was one more riddle to match, and if we didn't solve it, we would die. Since it was my first activity, it helped me learn about my team as well as really stimulate my imagination. While I didn't use the original riddles in my story, they helped me to get into character and think about what I could use in the story. In solving the final riddle, two of our guesses were wrong, which I incorporated into my story by making my character blind and another character nearly die. I also used the riddle in my story, as well as the bowls of food. Overall, the stone table activity really helped me to think and learn about teamwork.